Well, thank you anyway for now. Natalie Anglesey begs a hearing now for Bessers of the Barn. Yes, and they deserve it too, because Bessers have a right royal history. They actually were granted that royal prefix by Edward VII, and they were canny with it too, because they won their very first competition at George IV's coronation celebrations, adroitly choosing to play God Save the King. Well, they've lost none of their Lancastrian guile over the years, because they open their programme tonight with another surefire hit. This time it's Richard Strauss's Festmusik der Stadt Wien. <laughs> another of those highlights we promised you, the one where nobody sleeps. Nigel Taylor, Bess's musical director, who's head of the Music Centre in Bolton, believes it sounds better on a brass bandstand than on the opera stage, especially as a vehicle for their champion euphonium soloist, Graham McAvoy. It is, of course, Puccini's lovely Nessun Dorma. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bess's Little Barn's a friendly little place just outside Manchester. So named because a lady named Bess was very friendly with the men at her pub called The Barn. Well, that was 160 years ago, and Bess and her barn have long since gone. The band's rehearsal room, though, has stood for over a hundred years, and they've just unearthed some original manuscripts dated 1887. Well, we end in 1987 with an up-tempo, brand-new arrangement of Dave Brubeck's Blue Rondo a la Turk.
Yes, Blue Rondo, Blue Funk, when you have to pick a winner. What did you think of Besser's Gough Richards? Well, very confident start, Gerald. Uh, fest music had plenty of good moments, but uh, we did detect one or two um, small problems there with intonation and um, some untidy playing in the middle. Euphonium solo, superbly played by the soloist. We've Excellent. had two good euphonium oh. solos, haven't we, tonight? And two very, very good ones, yes. Yeah. Uh, the Rondo, I thought this was a very careful performance. Uh, it lacked just a little excitement for me, and I just wonder whether the tempo could have been a, a touch brighter to have, to have given us a little more excitement. Uh, excellent jazz solos from the cornet and flugel. I like that very much. And uh, very nice trombone sectional playing. Now, Roy Newsom, this might be a bit difficult for you because you were musical director of Bessers for a long time. What did you think of yes, that? I've got to try and put that in the background, yeah. uh, <laughs> Gerald, as you know, and be totally impartial. Yes, in fest music, I thought we had uh, quite an impressive start and, in, and an impressive close, but a little bit of nervousness, perhaps a bit of uh, insecurity, a lack of confidence in the middle. Uh, the euphonium solo, as Goff said, Quite rightly, the euphonium solo was brilliantly played. There were one or two problems in the accompaniments, and I've wondered from time to time if some of the effect was lost in the transfer from the actual cornet solo, as this particular arrangement was done, to the euphonium soloist. Nevertheless, full mark to the soloist. And in the blue rondo, some confident playing. Good work in the solo sections, as Goff rightly says, uh, but a bit of uncomfortableness in some of the rhythms. So, Roy, let's hear a comparison of the two bands from you. Yes, something of the adjudicator's dilemma here, where you have an equation, you've got good and bad on each side of the equation, and we have this problem of a relatively straightforward programme being played very well, and a rather more demanding programme producing one or two problems. Yeah, well, there are one or two problems. We now demand the result. Gough Richards. We've given Yorkshire Imps 93 points and Besses of the Barn 91. <laughs> Yorkshire Imps then move into the semi-finals. There to meet Britannia Foden. And we move into the semi-finals ourselves next week. Please come with us. Good night. <laughs>